When I got into design about two years ago, I kind of just fell in love. It was a way for me to uh, basically like tell my stories and you know just my emotions through my pieces and how I was feeling at the time. Uh, and so I went through and did design and I did this like fashion show here at MSU and from that I was like kind of on a high after that was my first thing I've ever done and so my advisor actually sent out um, that there was this you know fashion show that was looking for designers and so I applied and long story short I got rejected three times from it and it took that to push me harder and the more that you know I was told no it was the harder I would work to get there uh, and so from that that's kind of what led me to get to the places that I'm getting to now and you know I'm happy to say that like next year I plan on showing at New York Fashion Week I'm on track to do that so yeah kind of just the rejection and the constant no is what pushed me harder and what got me to the next level everything that I do all of my inspiration comes directly from my personal life experiences I feel like that's what uh, separates me and individualizes me as a designer. Uh, so I take concepts from, you know, all over, whatever it may be, and figure out, okay, so like, how does that relate to myself as a designer? So this year for the collection that I just showed in September, um, I took inspiration um, from transition essentially so I went off of metamorphosis and the stages of you know the caterpillar to a butterfly and I took each of those stages and I look directly at you know what the pictures look like and the textures and just all the colors and whatnot and I take that and I take what those stages mean and I relate them to my life. So going off of the four stages of transition, I wanted to tell the story of my transition as a designer um, from kind of where I started to where I've ended here at MSU. What I have right now, um, I just got back from a show so everything kind of came straight out of the suitcases. So and they're super wrinkly and I just brought a few but um, so this is one of them. These are just pants that are hung. Essentially, this is definitely one of my favorite pieces. They're like these pants that cinch in, you know, these drawstrings. I make these, everything is made by hand. Um, and they just have this beautiful long train and this pleated fabric. It's definitely one of my favorite pieces. And this is just one of the satin bodysuits that goes underneath it. This is another one of my favorite pieces. This one uh, it wasn't inspired uh, off of the butterfly stage. This is inspired off of the caterpillar stage and like I said, the colors were directly chosen based on my emotions and my uh, transition as a designer. Uh, so yeah, this one is really fun. It's like an apron in the back, really different. Um, this one also was inspired off of the butterfly stage. So it's like a bodysuit and also has the same drawstrings and then these beautiful long sleeves that just drape on the floor when she's walking. Um, one other thing that I didn't mention is everything that I do is very couture and avant-garde So it's all very creative, you know stuff that's not worn on a daily basis, but I wouldn't change it I love it. So I graduate this December and I'm excited, but also like sad like I Have done so much here and you know, it's great to get to go to the next step But also sad to like leave and I want to do this full-time. This is what I want to do for my full-time career but it's gonna take time and it's taken time to get to the step of where I'm at now and I know that. I know that nothing is gonna to happen tomorrow and so, you know, I'm willing to, you know, do what it takes to get there and so I plan on moving to New York City and getting a job out there, learning more within the fashion industry, learning more from other people, continuing to just practice and I'm on track right now. My my next big goal is to, you know, get things into stores and in boutiques and continue to sell online. Whatever whatever that path may be when I get there, whether it's finding a manufacturer or hiring people and doing it, you know, myself, whatever that is, like I'm really open to just adjusting to what that takes, but my next step is definitely to start getting things into stores. So, it's really exciting.